What is up guys, it's Soulbash. We are back again today with some more Tai Chi Panda heroes and we're gonna take a look at a new hero. I've had him for a little while. His name is Claudius and he is another five star hero. Now, he's a very strong tank uh, and his, his abilities do reflect that. We're gonna go through them. His first one is Shield Aura. First use activates shield damage deflect function and the second use activates a shield burn function. Uh, so you can see that adds a shield that increases damage deflect by 40%. And if you use it again, it activates burn, which deals uh, Claudius, I guess it's level times 1.9 to nearby enemies every 0.5 seconds. Now his second ability is rally and that buffs the player with a physical armor or magic resistance and it increases the player's movement speed. Now this looks like it is played off of the first skill as well. It increases the movement speed and if the damage deflect is on, it increases physical damage reduction by 40%. Now if your burn uh, is on from the first ability, it's gonna increase your magic damage, ma it's gonna increase your magic damage reduction by 40%. Now that is a key thing for this guy. It's going to be balancing these skills to, you know, to use each one as, you know, you're going to need it throughout whatever you're doing as far as pvp or whatnot now his third ability is insult it launches a shield and taunts the target now this deals a lot of damage and it's a physical attack and his health is a variable in that now looking at his rare skill his rare skill deals damage to nearby targets and bestows immunity to control debuffs for 13 seconds that is an extremely long time to be immune to control debuffs as you can tell, the damage it, deal, it deals is around 10,000. Um, it's a max health times 0.14 percentage uh, calculation there. And the main hero is buffed with a super armor for 5.4 seconds. A monster will lose 35 parry points. So not only is it doing damage, it's giving you immunity control. It'll take 35 away from parry points. So that is a very key skill. And that's why he is actually on one of my very first teams. I use him every day. Now, while we have him out, we'll go ahead and go out into the open world and take a look at just exactly what the skills do when you use them. All right, here we go with the very first skill. Let's take a look at exactly what it's gonna do. It's gonna slam the ground and put a shield, uh, basically produces that damage and you can hit it again and it's gonna change it to the fire, which is gonna do that periodic damage. You see it ticking for 16 and 17,000. It's a pretty nice ability and it lasts a pretty good long time. Uh, you can change it over again back to the shield as well after the cooldown is up on it. I'm taking a look at the second ability. We have the shield up, we're gonna go ahead and use it. It's just basically a buff. That's all it is. It does nothing special. And let's see if you can change the shield up to the fire, use it again. It's going to give me that magic damage uh, reduction. So that is pretty cool. Now let's try this third one, that shield that he throws out. It taunted that guy and it's just, hey, it brings him to you. He's more of a tank, like I said. Uh, he's very, very hard to kill in PVP. Now we're going to have to change him out uh, just to go back and take a look at his rare skill. So we will be right back with that. All right, we are back and let's take a look at what exactly the skill is going to do. Now, remember, it does do the area damage. It's going to give you immunity to control debuffs for 13 seconds. And also it is going to reduce parry by 35. So it's a very cool skill. Let's get some things rounded up here and see kind of exactly how much damage it's gonna do. Moderate damage is not a really whole lot, but that parry uh, reduction by 35 and the immunity to the spells for what control debuff for 13 seconds, that is huge for this ability. The cooldown is actually not too bad. Uh, it's barely over a minute. So it's a very viable skill to use. All right, guys, that is Claudius. And if you're looking to pick this hero up, you can go to his tab and let's see, click on the tier up. If you don't have him already, he should be in the section below in the avatar. You can look there and you can find that, but you can get him from the wild raid fortune frenzy from doing that twice a day. Uh, the wild raid balls, world balls, 
the wild raid world boss you can do that daily gold monsters and wild rare bosses in the open so there are a lot of different ways you can get this guy but he's not farmable you really have to just go out there and it's really luck based on if you get him or not but this guy is super strong as a tank i do highly recommend you getting him and trying to work him into one of your main teams if you have any questions about this hero feel free to leave them in the comment section below as always like comment and subscribe i am soul bash you guys have a nice day yeah.